Hi, this is Gopal and welcome to the fifth part of the tutorial of relational database uh, on my SQL. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about what is null and more about default value. But before that, I'm going to talk about more formats or forms of the select statement that we used in the earlier uh, tutorial. So, here it is. In the last tutorial, I showed you a simple format how to insert a data in a table. But if you promise that you're going to maintain the order in which the columns are inserted or uh, inserted in the table during the creation, uh, if you maintain the order of all the values, and also you maintain numbers uh, that is equal to the number of columns present so you don't have to mention the column names here okay so you simply delete this and you can use this thing just copy this and paste it and there you go three rows affected let's see in the uh, select statement so let's see select all from student info the table is little distorted because uh, the size of the window is less than the table can so okay one more way uh, you can insert data is this way insert into student info and you don't want to insert data in all the columns so say you want to insert data simply uh, on the columns called age and gender okay so what will happen then in that case you simply need to mention the age which is say 32 and um, gender which is say female okay uh, say enter one more uh, 43 say male let's see copy this thing paste it there you go and in this case if I say select everything from the student info there is a new thing you can see here the last name is filled up with null values null but the age as I said I inserted values here date of birth it's null address is null gender is female and male so what is this null value null is a special memory location that is used by the MySQL software to define nothing. In other words, we can say null is undefined. That means it doesn't have any kind of value. All right. Well, somebody would like to guess that it doesn't have any values means it would uh, be assigned to zero for integer or an empty string for a character. But that's not true. Let me uh, describe it more clearly with this picture here. Say, if you have um, A equals 2 and B equals 2, which definitely would imply A equals B. That's correct. But if we say A equals null and B equals null, then that does not implies a or a equals b that means a and b are not equal simply because null is not a value or it is undefined that means even two null values are not equal it's like we have a box which is null and we do not know what is inside the box okay so two boxes which are null we do not know that what is inside the box so these two boxes are not equal 
in other cases if we have an integer and it, if it contains 2 definitely equals to another integer box which contains 2 but in this case it is not true in some cases uh, you would not want your columns to be assigned with null values because uh, like first name or last name they are not good when assigned to null values or basically there is one more reason that why you shouldn't assign null values uh, we will be looking at some conditional operators on some more advanced SQL statements in that case we would not be able to find a particular row or record with a condition because if you say when to find a row which is equals to null it will not be able to find it because equals to null or you are actually you know assigning to value which is undefined that means there is actually no value that is why you cannot find a record with null values so you should always avoid it okay so let's see an example where uh, we can avoid null values and how to do that you simply say uh, create table and say test table and you want to put a name here just for example you know name variable character just put it 10 and then at the end of it you would mention this keyword what is that not null okay it means that you ensure your column the name column is not gonna take or any null value if you don't insert any values in that so there is a question that what you want your columns to have if you don't insert any values so how to do that you simply define default default means you want this thing to occur when you don't or you when you do not insert any values so here let's say no name that's okay for me let's see if it works definitely will work paste it enter it's done describe test table okay there you go as you can see the null values here is no and in case of describe student info it says null values yes so as you can see the difference here and here the default values are null in case of student info table but here as I said the default value would be no name so it is no name okay so this is it for the tutorial see you in the next tutorial so thank you for watching and please subscribe bye bye